Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Second MRI, and this is a 45-year-old female with foot and ankle pain. This is an x-ray. We're looking at her um, heel from a lateral projection, looking from the side. The tibia is up high here. Down below, we see this bone in the back. This is the calcaneus. This is the heel bone. This is the midfoot here. And we see in the calcaneus two things. Number one, there's a little bony spur off the bottom, an inferior calcaneal spur. The plantar fascia attaches here, so we suspect there's something wrong with the plantar fascia with a spur like that. And also we have a rounded area of darkness, lucency here within the calcaneus. You see these lines, these are the lines of force, the cortical trabecula oriented along the lines of force. Well right here there's a lucency where there are very few lines of force. So this is a benign bone lesion, it has a sharply defined margin here, this white rim. So this is a benign calcaneal lipoma, fairly common bone lesion. We mentioned that as just an incidental finding. And they did an MRI to look at the other things, and we can see this lipoma here, so it's a good example. On this view, fat is bright, so there's fatty marrow in the tibia, talus, calcaneus, and also in this bone lesion. See how bright it is, so it's just filled with fat, like a benign lipoma. This is a view where the fat is suppressed, so there's darkness in the bones that have a lot of fatty marrow, and this is also fairly dark as well, a few little spots of brightness in there. Now the confusing thing is these can over time degenerate. They can get cystic components or sometimes look purely cystic, and they um, will have the same sharply defined margin being the same location. So if you see fatty elements or fluid, or both fatty elements and fluid, it really is a calcaneal lipoma that has just uh, degenerated and has cystic components within it. So it is a classic case of a lipoma of the calcaneus, typically of no clinical significance. And since we already have this case open, let's show you one more thing here. This is that plantar fascia. It comes down, it attaches to the inferior calcaneus, and this patient has a prominent plantar fasciitis and some partial tearing where, right where that plantar fascia attaches here. We also have some edema in the front of the Achilles tendon here. We call this peritendinitis. So those are the reasons they're having, they're having pain. And just one last thing here. We have two tendons on the lateral side. We have the perineus brevis, which is partially torn. Looks like there's two components. And then behind it, this round ball, a normal appearing perineus longus tendon. So perineus brevis split tear and perineus longus normal. And an incidental calcaneal lipoma. Thank you very much.